Before you go, subscribe, like, and comment. Click the bell if you want notifications of new episodes. The forecast today is showers, and we're just going to start with the long range proficiency test. Okay. That was a low impact, but the shot felt good, so let's look at the weather. Now, compared to the BDC calibration, we have lower temperature and higher pressure, both which push the bullet impact down. The numbers tells me I have roughly one and a half significant deviation, and one significant is worth five meters. That means for a 5A2 meters range, I should dial 590. Find your target and bring the rifle up you. Check your natural point of aim. And that's done quite simply by aiming, closing your eyes, opening, and it's on the same place. So I find the target, I aim, I close my eyes, my eyes are now closed, I open the eye, and as you see, crosser stay in the same place. It is my position that keeps the rifle in place. You see I'm not using the eyes. That's also going to tell the bullet where to go, okay? So adjust your position so you're aiming straight at the target. That's going to give the best results. That was my aim, I know everything, 2.8 MRAD was a miss. So if I want to maximize, I can just put that 0.8 all the way over here. You see? So I know that my shooting is okay, but that means there is something I am missing in the wind. Now I put out the plastic marker right there, that's for illustrating the wind to you. So when I see in the reticle now, I can actually see that the wind hold is 1.3 MRAD. And since my rifle is half the hundreds, which is 600, half of that is 3, I can take that 13, divide by 3, and I have an effective wind of approximately 4. So. 1.3. I'm just going to bracket the center between 1.2 and 1.4. That's too high. So, in building the grip, put the trigger in, finger on the trigger, wrap the hand around, close the two middle fingers, and bring the thumb in. So now I have almost a 90 degree angle here. Check natural point of aim. It's off to the right. So I'm just moving with the hips. Checking. And it's okay. Oops.
So if your shots are starting to go high, take off a little of the cheek pressure, okay? It's so easy to squeeze this down and raise your elevation. Just going to shoot a little at the reactive target. And again, we're going to have Mirage, and I'm not sure what sort of image quality we're going to be able to present. And I'm building the grip, putting the finger in, wrapping the hand, closing the two digits, and hooking the rifle back to me. I think that's the description I'm looking for. The thumb, basically only the fists. So, So the wind hold is actually at one point two. Maybe a little less. Pull that one. Just fold it slightly, put a small knot in it, then you take this on the outside and you always have the first line. So now you can just pull it up and pull the bag. Okay, that's the first shot at 515 meters. And this is the one that really matters. All the other stuff here is basically just training and show off. Now this is the reactive target at 545. Now this season we made a decision that only hits in the center would be approved. Everything else would be considered a miss. And that's also a very good way to do your exercise. And the only shots I'm interested in here are the ones hitting the whites. Because they will tell me what am I doing wrong. So the systematic error, which I'm doing all the time, is that my wind call just is not the scratch yet. The center has a tolerance of plus minus half a meter per second or one mile per hour and I am not able to meet that standard yet. So this is 600 meters. Now this bar is six centimeters tall. Now the purpose of this target is mainly to demonstrate a solid understanding of ballistics, what results that you can achieve with the fundamentals and that factory gear is more than capable of shooting well at long range. Respect natural point of aim, apply proper trigger control. That will get you a long way, okay? Subscribe to the THLR channel by clicking the left logo icon so you'll be shooting straighter than a drunk skunk before the sun shines over northern Norway.